Here we are. I hate this city. Jack, you say that one more time and I'll throw you into the Hudson. And according to Mitch, unless you want to grow a third arm, you don't want to be in there. Are we ready yet? Almost. Lucas, you in position? We are good to go, Mitch. I have to say, that detective you guys have made the right call. This place is a lot easier to stage an attack in. Oh, wow. I'm so glad to get praise from... Maria. She has a good eye for tactics. Claire should be ready with the spell soon. We'll attack then. Do not move until we give the signal. Understood. Don't die. Well, isn't he just a ball of motivation? It's not bad advice. And one we probably should take to heart. Lamb, any word from Claire? All right, then we'll wait a bit longer. From here, it looks like their security has lightened. Probably Claire's influence taking effect. I still smell a few things in there. I think, goodness, my nose is going crazy here. Same. How do you track anyone here, Mitch? You get used to it. Close your eyes. Force out everything besides what you want to find. Okay. A couple of vamps, some different shifters. No demons, though, so that's good. I wouldn't be surprised if they thought the couple was getting too much attention shed on them. Demons don't like to work in the light. And the fact that Claire probably brought a little bit of spotlight on them probably scared off a lot of allies, too. I love it when you talk shop. Please focus. You remember what the plan is for you and Lamb, right, Lopez? Yeah. Get the captured humans, lead them to Lucas, who will take them to a group of witches, who will treat them and use their memories of any supernatural shit they might have seen. I still don't like this. There are still so many things that could go wrong. We've been over this, Brian. Plus, with the charms that Claire gave us, Lamb and I are extra protected. We are extra protected right now. Maria, if you're going to doubt the charm, I'm going to take you to Mitch's apartment and tie you to the bed. Shit. Right. Super hearing. Can we not say kinky shit right now? Jax. Jax. What? I'm just trying to lighten the mood. We're about to head into a warehouse full of bad guys, after all. I know I'm not the only one thinking that this can go south fairly quickly. So might as well get in a few good jokes now. Oh, if we get out of this and we end up winning, the goddess must really be smiling down upon us. Is that her? How soon? Five sec- Oh, fuck. That's one way to put it. It definitely works better than coffee. Yeah. I'm okay, Lamb. Better than okay, in fact. Shit, I feel like I could tear apart that whole building by myself. Oh, no you don't. You are saving some of that for us. Let's focus, please. The faster we get this done, the faster we can all get home safe. All right. Lamb, Lopez, you two know what to do. Be safe. I will. Lamb, I love you. All right. Jax, Brian, let's cause a little trouble, shall we? Okay, here we are. Just need to lockpick it. Watch my back, okay? Hey, you! Shit.
What do you mean you got this? Lamb! What the fuck are you? No! Oh! Holy shit, Lamb. Where did you learn to do that? Um, yeah, it's almost done. Let's go. But don't think you're not going to answer that question later. Holy shit. There must be at least 20 people here. All those cages. Hey, everyone calm down. I am Detective Lopez of the NYPD. We are here to get you out. We need everyone to stay calm while we work. Lamb, take this set. It's just like we practiced on the farm, okay? And you picked it up quick. You got this. I got the last one. You call Lucas. Lucas here. Go. All right. We'll help the attack up top. I'm going to send two of my men over now to help the victims. Get out with them as planned. Just keep a lookout. But from the sounds of the fighting upstairs... Lamb, don't! We need to stick to the plan. Fuck, Lamb, of course I'm worried about Brian, but we need to go. Where the hell did you get a gun from? Claire? What do you mean the right time? All right, everyone listen up. Two men are going to be at that door soon. You need to go with them. They will be wearing this crest that I have here. Take this and show it to them. Understood? Damn it, Lamb. Mitch and Brian are going to kill us. One more move, and his head comes off his shoulders. No, bro- <sighs> Let him go, Antonio. It's over. Your stock is gone, and your presence is known. Stand down. It's still only known by a few, Mutt. And we still have the upper hand. Leave now. Let my brother go first. <sighs> not happening. I am not about to have that conversation with Lopez. Mitch, just killed him. Don't worry about me. Then get the hell out. I've had enough of you. I should have killed you the moment you entered our club. Your head would have been the perfect decoration for my office. And your lamb would have looked so cute kneeling beside my desk. <sighs> Don't you dare talk about them like that! Mitch, they are baiting you. Do you even know how to fucking shoot that thing? What if you hit Brian? Last chance. Leave. Mitch, don't! <sighs> Brian! You're not moving fast enough. No! Brian! You motherfucker! What the fuck? Lamb? 
Right, little human filth. How dare you! <clears throat> No, you need to go. No, no, Brian! Jax, let me go! Lopez, Lamb, you need to go now. Don't let those two leave. Oh, damn it, Maria. Go! I can't leave him! Lamb, I can't! Lamb, get her out of here. This is for my brother, asshole. <clears throat> no! Antonio! Good riddance. How dare you? He was twice the wolf you could ever hope to be. He understood that we don't belong protecting those pathetic humans. That's exactly where we belong. Protecting those who can't protect themselves. Now, give up. <laughs> you know the saying, right, Mitch? Captain always goes down with their ship. <laughs>